Hi everyone and welcome. In this review note, we are going to be configuring network address translation on our Palo Alto firewalls. Before you can start this, you have to make sure that you have patched your topology and you've also loaded your saved configuration from when you completed your security policies exercise. In this particular case, we are going to be configuring NAT so that hosts from our internal network are going to have their IP addresses and ports translated going out to the internet. So before we start configuring, we're going to take a look at how the internet host sees traffic from internal and DMZ. Going to pop over to VM3. This is the host, of course, that is out on the internet. And we're going to use the TCP dump command so that we can monitor incoming traffic. We're going to catch her ICMP because we're simply going to use some pings to look at what the traffic looks like. I'm going to go over to VM2. This is the one that is on the internal network. Send a couple of pings out. And we'll do the same thing from VM1, which is in the DMZ. Excellent. Let's go over and look at the internet host and see what it sees. So first we can see from our internal network, we are receiving traffic from 172.16.200.10, which of course is the IP address of our internal host. And then from the DMZ, we're receiving traffic from 172.16.60.10, which of course is the IP address of that particular VM. Now let's set up NAT and we'll see what happens after we've configured NAT. Over to my firewall, we're going to configure a policy for this. And this will be a NAT policy. And we will click on add. The name of our policy is going to be internal to internet. And we will put in a description of what this policy is going to do. We need to make sure that the NAT type is IPv4. We will go to the original packet. We're going to add a source zone, which will be internal. Our destination zone will be internet. The destination interface is going to be ethernet 1.1, which is the internet interface. We'll leave the source and destination addresses as they are now for the original packet. Now for the translated packet, we need to translate the source. We'll leave the destination as is. So from our translation type, we'll pick dynamic IP and port. And then the address type is going to be interface address. And then the interface will be Ethernet 1.1. And the IP address will be the IP address assigned to the Ethernet 1.1 interface. So basically what we're saying here is when we translate the packet, the source address and port are going to get translated such that we will use an interface address. The interface will be Ethernet 1.1, so that's the egress interface off of the firewall. And then the IP address is going to be, in our case, the one and only IP address assigned to that port on the firewall. If we had multiple IP addresses assigned, we could, of course, uh, select whichever one we want. We do not need to change anything as far as the destination address is concerned. We want the destination to go to whatever the target is. Click OK we can see that our policy has been created and we have to commit this so that it takes effect go ahead and do that i'll be back once the commit's done and then we can try it out okay our commit is finished this is excellent let's go back over to our vms and see what the traffic looks like now I'm going to go back to vm2 first and resend those pings. And then we'll do the same thing with VM1. 
Remember VM1 is in the DMZ. And if we now go back over to VM3 out on the internet, now if we look at our traffic from VM2, which is on our internal network, check out the source IP address. This is now 172.16.1.2. In other words, the IP address that's on the egress interface from the firewall going out to the internet. So that now is allowing the uh, internal hosts to share that one IP. Now, if we look at the VM and the DMZ, that still has its original IP address because we're not doing anything to translate that one. And if we wanted traffic from the DMZ to go to the internet and share that IP address on the egress interface like we did with the internal hosts, we would have to set up another NAT policy to make that happen. That's a wrap for the video. Hopefully you found this helpful and we'll see you next time.